What's up, math fans? Today I'm continuing with the law of cosines. I want to show you that it works for finding sides and it also works for finding angles. So some background information or some, some other videos you should have seen already is Pythagorean theorem, the other law of cosines video. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so if you saw the, the, the other law of cosines video, you would know what this means, all right? This is basically, if I hide this part of it, this is the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that is useful in right triangles. But what if it's not a right triangle, we do this little adjustment and we can use it for all triangles. What do we mean use it? What, what are we trying to do with these triangles? The lowercase letters represent sides of a triangle and the uh, capital letter represents the angle. And more specifically, little c and big C are opposite each other. So if you look at number two, if this is capital C, this would be lowercase c. That's important. Um, when I first taught it, I taught it with three formulas, but this is basically, it comes down to this formula here. They're all the same, just I mix up the letters. In fact, on purpose, I put triangle NOY, because if you memorized it with ABC, oh no, how do I do it with NOY, right? You do, and you do it by understanding what the letters mean, not just the letters themselves. So this triangle could represent anything. Uh, I don't know, maybe there's a, a lake. This is a popular test question, actually. From N to O, it goes across the lake, and maybe from uh, L to Y and Y to N goes around the lake. So they want to know what angle uh, should I build my bridge at or something like that. I don't know. They, it's a, they make up different, different things, but it's useful. If you go outside right now, I'm sure you'll see things that, that mirror triangles. So I want to know what angle to build my bridge at, right? Because I got this big piece of wood here and a piece of wood there. And do I tape it like this? Do I tape it like this? Do I, do I nail it together like this? So what's the angle? Find the angle. Why? How? If I have three sides, that means I have um, side, side, side. And I mentioned if you're trying to find a side, if you're trying to find A, B, or C, and you have side, angle, side, you use the law of cosines. Also, if you have side, 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 you use the law of cosines when you're trying to find an angle. So let's do that. I want to find an angle. I want to find this angle. And I have side, 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 so I know I can do it. Let's see here. If I want angle Y, that means I have to start with lowercase y. And it helps to know that opposite O is lowercase o and opposite n is lowercase n, so let's go. Um, lowercase y squared equals o squared plus n squared minus two o n cosine big Y. This is that same formula, except applied to this picture instead of, okay, now, Let's see, I know numbers, so 15 squared equals 7 squared plus 10 squared minus, that's a 2 there, minus 2 times 7 times 10 times cosine y. It's a lot, but it's not hard. You know how to substitute numbers, you've known that since, I don't know, middle school, and you know how to multiply. You've known that since even before middle school. This is not hard, it's just tedious. So don't, don't get overwhelmed, one step at a time. 15 squared, you want a calculator, use it, you should know it, I don't know. 225 equals 49, not 14, which I hear all the time, plus 100 minus two times seven times 10. What is this, 14 times 10 is 140. 140 cosine y. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. I got 49 plus 100. So 225 equals 149 minus 140 cosine y. Here's a rookie mistake. These people see 149 minus 140, and they do it. And they say, oh, the answer is 9 cosine y. And that's not true. These are not like terms. This is almost like saying, um... This is a variable. Cosine y is a variable because you don't know what y is. So it's almost like saying 225 equals 149 minus 140x. If you were solving for x, would you combine these? No, they're not like terms. This is a constant. This is a coefficient. They're not the same. How would you 
get x alone, I would subtract my, my whole number, my constant, bring it over there. And then when I bring this down, I will divide by the coefficient. So that's what I'm going to do here. All right, so I'm going to subtract 149 on both sides. And let's see, 225 minus 149. I'm actually going to be lazy because um, I don't want to spend too much tape time. So 225 minus 149 is 76. 76 equals negative 140 cosine y. And it's funny because I did this problem a minute ago and I did it with decimals because I didn't want you to be scared of decimals. It takes a little longer. Again, it's very tedious. It's the same procedure. Just use the calculator if you're not comfortable with decimals. So is cosine y alone? Not yet. I'm going to divide by the coefficient, divide by 140, divide by, uh, excuse me, negative 140. They cancel. Now I definitely need this. 76 divided by negative 140 gives me negative 0.542 and then it goes on 85 blah 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 so i'm going to round it to the fourth decimal place to 10 thousandths place usually should have round to the very end but i'm almost at the end so just to be safe i'll go to four places and then when i get there i'll round to the nearest whole number so negative 0.5429 equals cosine y. Did I get my variable alone? Still no. I know what the cosine equals. I need y itself. What do you do? Do you remember? I hope you do. Uh, I'm going to erase everything now because we're pretty much done with that question. What do you do if you know the cosine but you need the angle? You know the cosine, you need the angle. If you have a missing angle, hopefully you saw my other videos. That's what I wanted to say earlier. You should have seen my intro to trigonometry video and how to find sides and angles using trigonometry. So how do you find an angle? Inverse. So I'm gonna press cosine inverse <clears throat> this number. Negative 0.5429, close it. Press enter and let's see. So I gotta press second cosine to get the inverse. Negative 0.5429. And I get approximately 123 degrees. Y equals approximately 123 degrees. And this is an obtuse angle. I knew it was going to be obtuse, not because I drew it obtuse, but because I had a negative here. So don't panic if you get a negative. You'll just get an obtuse angle, which is fine. All right. So that is how you use the law of cosines to find angles. Write the equation, substitute, expand, combine like terms, additive inverse, divide by the coefficient, and finally, inverse of your trig ratio. That's it. Try it again here. Much easier, much quicker. Stick around, I'll do it in, let's see if I can get it done in less than a minute. So this one, I used ABC on purpose because it matches the ABC. Okay. And again, I have side, 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 so I know I can use the law of cosines to find a missing angle. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I spoiled it for you. You don't want to see that, actually. That, you're pretending you don't know that. You should know that because 3, 4, 5 makes it a right triangle. We're done. It's 90 degrees. I found angle C. C equals 90 degrees. I'm done. Told you I could do it in less than a minute. But that's not the point of this video. Let's do it the law of cosines way just to prove that law of cosines works for right angles and not right angles. Works for everything. So what do we got? Let's get this out of the way too. A squared, no, I got to start with little c, equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine big C. You want to find c, better finish with cosine big C. What is this? Let me label my sides. Little a, little b, little c, right? So I start with five squared equals, what's little a? Four squared plus three squared minus two times four times three times cosine big C. Real easy, no need for a calculator. 25 equals 16 plus nine minus two times four is eight. Eight times three is 24 cosine C. Let's combine like terms. 25 equals, ooh, 25. 
minus 24 cosine C. And remember that rookie mistake I said, people are gonna wanna do 25 minus 24. It looks so easy, you get one cosine C. No, not like terms. Minus 25 here and here. Subtract 25 on both sides, all right? This A is in the way, excuse me. Cancel, and this happens to also cancel, but I gotta write a zero. I need something on that side of the equal sign. So zero equals negative 24 cosine C. Big C, this is big C. Divide by negative 24, divide by negative 24. Negative 24 cancels out. And zero divided by anything is zero. So cosine C, big C, equals zero. Whew, almost done. What do you do? Get your calculator, cosine inverse of zero and you don't even have to round because it gives you a great answer 90 degrees we already knew that put the box everybody's happy um any questions feel free to comment please like subscribe tell your friends thanks for watching see ya